Hello, my friends of Hattery Labs. Please have a great day. Uh, my name is Saul Montoya. In this tutorial, we are going to split a Modflow 6 model. So what does it mean? That here we have a model, a model of a coastal aquifer. Okay. And this model has uh, several rows and columns. Okay. But there is a function in FlowPy that can split this model into several models, okay? And then you can ask, why do I need several models, okay? Or many models or sub-models? Maybe because you want to have, a, I mean, you want to, to run the model and then you want the results on a specific part, okay? Um, because you don't want to read the whole data set. I mean, for the whole models, you just want to read the data on your area of interest, okay, of the, your sub model, or maybe because you want to, uh, yeah, then that could be a reason for that, okay, and yeah, or you want to use the sub model as an initial condition for another model, okay, that is really entirely up to you. Okay, so how we do that in the description of the model, you are going to find this, okay, this folder, okay, that has this model, okay. Uh, first, we run it. Why we run it? Because I think that you are only going to get the GPT, okay, so you have to run it in order to create all the, all the uh, Modflow files. So here you have two stress periods. And Okay, and then, well, uh, you are going to open Anaconda Prom. Anaconda Prom. So you please place the CPET, the CPET folder under your documents so you can go CD documents, CD documents. See how Jupiter Lab, Jupiter Lab. Okay, great. So these are the pots. Okay, great. Okay, so here in the script, um, you are going. This will be a split model. I am going to delete these two folders because this will be generated by the code. Okay, so we go to split model. Okay, kernel clear all outputs. Okay. First, we are going to do a copy of our initial model. And why we do kernel clear all outputs? Okay. Why we do a copy of the initial model? Because actually you have the original model and then you have the model that you are going to compare. It's not wise to do or to open changes and run simulation on the original model because maybe you are doing some changes so you are actually changing also the original code. Okay, that is why. So here we import that. Uh, so we change our workspace, we got the model and then we do the simulation. Okay, so what we are going what we are doing here is just in okay so here uh we well let's wait again what went wrong here Okay. Okay, so okay, so we run the model and this will create here the entire model that is a copy. Okay, we got the model of the simulation and then we run the model. Okay, just to get the results of the entire model. Okay, so we have the extent because we are going to do some 
lots of the model results and and the minimum head is almost zero and this is the maximum head okay and this is the representation of the model in flow pipe okay where you have the control lines where you have the the heads and so on. okay but this is the entire model okay so uh, we split that okay this is the code i will leave Okay, we split that into eight models, okay, so that we'll have two rows and four columns, okay, and this is um, this is selected from uh, these parameters. I mean, you can actually give more columns, okay, or more rows, and this is up to you, but in this case, for the purpose of this demonstration, you can give just that. Okay, so and then we use the MF splitter that is an auxiliary of Modflow 6, and then we are going to store this in another folder because actually we don't want to mix this with the entire model. Okay, and then we run the simulation. Okay, great. Uh, in my case, the executable is the is on this path. Okay, and you can have everywhere anywhere else, or you can place it on their bin folder that is up to you okay so let's see and by running this code you will compare the heads of the last stress period for the original and for the splitted and then you will see which is the difference among the heads for both of them so here these are the multiple models okay and this is the head and this is the single model okay and this is the difference okay and then you will see that close to the boundary condition actually there is no difference however in the upper parts you will see some difference okay and if you want to see what how i mean how is split the mod flow six we go here to split it and then you will see that we have model one was our entire model but it has and it has underscore one two three uh, it has underscore one two three four for example for the bhd has underscore one two three four five six seven eight so it has the bhd but separated for the eight models okay as well the cbc well this is an output okay you as well you have a model one mpf model one observation model one research but as well you have this for the uh, eight models okay and as well you have the inter the exchange i mean the interaction in between the models and this is really interesting why is interesting because models will be in places like one two three four five six seven eight so number one will be will have connection with number two and number five okay one two two and one two five number two will have connection well if there was a connection with number one with but it will have a connection with number three and number uh, six number two number three and number six okay and for example number seven will have this connection was already established and this connection was really established on the previous one so it will only have a new connection with number eight okay and number eight will have already established connections okay this is how it works and then if we go to mfsim.num okay so we see the models okay the eight models and the exchange among all of these models okay great okay so this is the tutorial so far and this condition what is already in, in flowpy and it also implements some tools in modflow 6 for the diversity of groundwater modeling i think that is is great that you um it's great that you uh understand that these tools are available okay
great as my cons as my advice to most of you read the documentation okay because the document this is just a guide okay but for any specific task or a specific problem that you want to to uh, to tackle or to develop um, uh, or to solve uh, there are many other, there are more resources on the documentation of Moodle. okay have a great day bye bye